Logical Gamers. What's good, folks? Esoteric here, bringing you yet another two minute, two cents review on The Evil Within. Let's start with the pros. The Evil Within has a very captivating storyline that keeps players engaged throughout the game. The graphics and sound effects are also top notch, creating a truly immersive and chilling atmosphere. The game also offers a good balance of action and horror, making it an exciting and intense experience. Another pro is the level of difficulty in the game. It offers a challenging gameplay experience that will test your skills and strategic thinking, especially in the later stages, and the ability to upgrade your weapons and abilities, allowing for playstyle customization, makes the game even more exciting. Now, let's move on to the cons. One major downside of The Evil Within is its camera angles. They can be quite wonky at times, making it difficult to maneuver through the game. Another is its unorthodox controls. The game utilizes L1 to sprint, R1 to crouch, and R3 to access your weapon options. I can't begin to tell you how many times I've opened up the weapon menu while attempting to rotate the camera. These configurations for me made the game sometimes frustrating and took away from the overall experience. Overall, despite the mentioned cons, The Evil Within is a fantastic game that provides an immersive and thrilling experience. With its strong atmosphere, gameplay, and storyline, it's a must try for horror game enthusiasts. The Evil Within gets a solid 7 out of 10. Well this concludes my review on The Evil Within. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment your thoughts, and subscribe for more. Also, check out my other platforms as well. The links will be provided in the description. Well, this is your boy Esoteric signing off, and remember, if it ain't gaming, it ain't logical. Peace.